In this how to we are going to learn how to save and retrieve data to and from cookie. Before we proceed further let us try to understand what is cookie. Cookie is basically a small amount of data stored into the client browser that can be set and get by the application. Or in this case application means the web application or, or, to the, or from the website. So uh, I'm going to create one page and where I'm going to keep two a, uh, ASP buttons. So here is my ASPX page and I have two buttons here. Let me tell you what is this button. First button is BTN cookie set and second button is BTN cookie get. The but on the click of BTN uh, cookie set we are executing set cookie uh, server side method and on click of BTN cookie get we are executing get cookie uh, server side method. Now let me copy paste the code of the server side method as well. So here is my server side method. <coughs> in this server side method, <coughs> first in the set cookie, what we have done is that we have uh, we are trying to save the data into the cookie, and uh, uh, you can store any kind of data into the cookie provided it it can be converted into a string. For example, it can you can store an, an integer value, you can store any date type of value or anything even in even decimal value or a simple string value because ultimately when uh, data is stored into the cookie it is stored in the form of string and ideally you are suggested to not store a large amount of data into the cookie because ultimately it is an overhead to the uh, to, to the transferring of data from uh, uh, client browser to the server and, and vice versa so you should store uh, you know a small amount of data into the cookie now here in order to set the data into the cookie you can use response dot cookies of the cookie name dot value and is equal to whatever data you want to store and if you want to uh, set the expiration policy so that after some seconds or after few minutes you want to expire the cookie data then you can write as response dot cookie of my cookie dot expires is equal to whatever time you want to specify for example right now I have written date na, na, date time dot now dot add seconds 10 it means that this my cookie will expire in 10 seconds and then what we have done here in, in the get cookie method we are checking for my cookie if my cookie is not null it means that there is cookie into my browser then what we are doing is that we are using the request object to get the cookie by passing the cookie name dot value so it will give me the cookie value and then we are writing on the page in case this cookie will expire after 10 seconds then this re request dot cookie of my cookie will be null and and uh, uh, we will not come into this block and nothing will be written on the page so let me run this page and show you how, how it is looking like so i'm going to run and here you can see that I, I, that I will have two button set cookie so i've set the cookie and then i clicked on get cookie and i'm getting the cookie so my cookie data was set and here I'm getting the cookie. Now if I will uh, click on this get cookie link after 10 seconds then I will notice that I will not get any data. See I'm not getting any data because the cookie has expired. Now this is the one way of setting the cookie. <coughs> there are other ways of setting the cookie also. For example you can write cookie cookie equal to new http cookie and you can write this uh, cookie name for example my cookie one and then you can write the value for example this is my data so this will be the cookie value and then you can write response dot cookie dot add of this cookie in the same way you can create multiple also and you can keep adding it for example you can, I can add cookie 1 and here I can say 2 and then here also I can say cookie 1 and in order, in order to retrieve it is very simple now if I have to retrieve this cookie uh, my cookie 1 and my cookie 2 what we need to do we need to follow the same approach that we had followed here so let me show you that as well so here I have added the cookie now I am going to comment these two lines and let's just I am trying to get the my cookie one so I will have to change these values and now let me run this page 
and I'm clicking on set cookie so it will basically set the my cookie one equal to this is my data and I click the get cookie you can see that I'm getting the uh, cookie data so this is the way this is another way to get and uh, uh, set the cookie into the browser In the next how to we are going to learn that how to use session variable before we uh, go ahead and uh, start implementing or using the session first let us try to understand what is session session is basically uh, a way to store the data specific to the user into the server memory and by default when we store the uh, data into the session it is stored into the web server memory okay and that is called in proc session there are two types of session one is in proc and second is out proc when when the session data is stored into the web server memory that is called in proc and when the session data is stored not into the web server either into the state server or into the database that is called out proc we are going to see all of these types of uh, se storing session in the coming up videos but here just try to uh, understand that how to uh, save the data into the session uh, variable and how to retrieve the data so for that what i'm going to do is that on, on the aspx page i'm going to create basically one, uh, one label control a details view control and a button control so let me go ahead and do that mm. yes let me format it out and then this is the label this is my details view and this is my button and on the click of this button we are basically calling the clear session server side method so let me go ahead and copy paste all the code behind also of this page and then i will explain it let me delete all of them yes and then let us copy this code as well yes and now let me rectify the errors first either we will have to use the system dot data and then using system dot data dot sql client and then with system dot configuration and here we go let me collect all these codes and uh, yes and yes looks like we are done okay and yes now because we are going to use the database connection string from the web.config file so naturally we will have to use string underscore con str equal to configuration manager dot connection string of con str dot connection string now let me explain the code in the page load event we are checking if it is not is post back then we are calling the get data method and passing one as the parameter it means that this auto id value will be one here and then what we are doing is we are instance setting the data table and uh, we are checking for a session variable of my data i will tell you further so if this session of my data is not null it means that there is something into this session and we then we are trying to unbox this the data that is thrown into session variable of my data key into the data table and then we are writing into the label saying that getting the getting data from session and if session of my data is null it means that there is no the nothing installed into this session variable then we are uh, instancing the sql connection we are executing the sql statement and we are getting the data from the database where auto id will be for one because we are passing one as the parameter into this get data method ideally you should use the stored procedure as i said earlier and then we are instancing the sql command then sql adapter and we are uh, passing the parameter auto id parameter and filling the data into the data table and once we have filled the records into the data table then we are basically storing the data table object into the session variable and we have a specified session dot timer to equal to 40 so that this session variable will expire in 40 minutes and we are writing into the uh, label called getting from the getting data from database so that we will know that okay when we are ref keep refreshing the page then 
from where we are getting the data and then we are uh, setting the data source of the details to the data table and then we are calling the data bind method so my purpose here is to uh, show you that how to store the data here we are saying how to store the data and how to specify the timeout property so that you know the session data will expire in the specific on the specified number of minutes and then how to check for the uh, session variable and retrieve the data from the session variable so let me run this page and show you how it is working let me close the existing page yes and because this is the first time so naturally it will try to get the data from the database but the problem here is that we are writing here one it means that we, are, we want to get the data from personal detail table where auto id is equal to one but looks like there is no record with auto id equal to one so i'll have to change my code and let me go ahead and change my code let me write three here because we have records with auto id equal to three so i have done that and uh, now because the data will be stored into the uh, session variable so i will have to click the button now on click of the button what we are doing we are uh, executing the clear session method and the clear session method we are writing session dot remove of my data it means that the key that i had used to store the data i'm going to remove that so that the data of the session variable will be removed so let me run this page again so i'm going to close it and right click and run view in browser you can see that getting data from the database and auto id equal to three records are coming now when i will refresh this page again now you can see that still i am getting a record whose auto id is three but this time we are getting from the session variable so what is happening it is not going to the uh, database and executing hold the code but it is getting the data from the session variable and populating into the uh, details view so in this way what we are uh, we are achieving we are achieving the optimum performance of the page because every time we are not going to the database not executing sql connection object and adapter and the command object but we are simply retrieving the data from the uh, session variable and populating into now if we, ha we have to uh, clear the session then we can cl click on the clear session button and that will basically call the session dot remove method and by passing the key that we had used to store the data table and it will remove the data table stored into the session variable and in case we have multiple session variables and we want to cancel all the sessions for the current session then what we can do is that uh, we can use the session dot abandon so that will basically remove all the session uh, variable created for that particular user 